Good morning, I am Jalen Alford, and thank you for choosing HRWS News 3. Let's see what's happening in local news. Good morning, I am Nevaeh Hollins with your Cleveland News. Cleveland Clinic ranked number two hospital in the nation by U.S. News and World Report. This year ranking marked the 27th year the hospital has earned the top spot in cardiology and heart surgery. It's also the 23rd year in a row Cleveland Clinic has been ranked among the top five hospitals in the country. Three men shot at Cleveland's Jefferson Park on Monday night. Cleveland EMS confirmed two men were taken to Metro Hospital and serious condition. It is unknown if any suspects have been identified or arrested. Cleveland Metropolitan School District announced new dress code policy. The changes create a policy that will apply equally to students regardless of gender and new dress code was designed to ensure that students dress in all manner that is appropriate and comfortable but also to support all students in developing a body positive self image. The code has was devel developed after parents and students asked the district to review the dress code. Now to Tavion for a special interview with CMSD CEO. Good morning today. I am Tavion Simmons here here today with Mr. Eric Gordon, the Chief Executive Officers of Cleveland Metro School District. Hi, Mr. Gordon. Thank you for taking time today to talk with us. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm supposed to share the mic, right? Thank you for having me. What is the what is your role as CEO of Cleveland Metro School District? So I would describe my role as essentially being the principal of all the principals. So I'm in charge of making sure everything in every one of our schools goes like it's supposed to for you, for your classmates, for your teachers, for the principals. Um, think of it as kind of running a city for 37,000 people. Um, so everything that happens, running the buses, collecting the trash, cleaning the buildings, making sure you're fed, making sure you're learning. I'm responsible for figuring all of that out. I don't do it alone, but that's my job. Thank you for your information. What are some things you've learned being CEO? So, um, to be CEO, you have to have a uh, principal's license, essentially, uh, like Mr. Tidmore, the principal here, or your summer principal here has, where um, you, uh, it's a kind of a, teacher supervisor or teacher support degree that we have to get. Um, and for most school districts, that's sufficient. That's what a superintendent has. What I learned when I got this job, so my title, as you mentioned, is CEO or Chief Executive Officer. And I, when I got the job, I kind of thought, you know, why, what's the difference? Well. It turns out because of how big we are, remember I told you it's like running a city for 37,000 people, I would have probably been a lot more prepared if I had had a business degree to learn how to run the business of the district. Um, as, whereas what I wanted to be doing was leading the academics of the district, the learning of the district. So I've learned those skills and um, you know, I've, I've helped us to navigate really tough budget times, uh, you know, I've, I've helped us to build new school buildings like this one, um, but uh, it's something that I didn't know when I started that I learned that um, if somebody were to say to me, you know, what do you need to be the superintendent of Cleveland schools? I would say, make sure you have a business degree because it's a big, huge business to run. Thank you. What will you do if you weren't CEO and why? So I've always said I want to do this job one time really well and then never again. So, um, you know, I've had offers to leave Cleveland to go to larger, interview for larger cities. And there are a lot of people in my job that think that's a great thing that you get recruited to a bigger city. Um, I, I don't want to do that. I want to stay here. I want to do it as, to the very best of my ability. And then when I'm no longer CEO, I want to do something completely different. 
So I told you my background is in math. Um, I love weather and weather, the science behind weather is called a vector science. Um, and so I want to I want to go back and study meteorology and become a, basically a weather person. But I don't want to be on TV. I've not been enough on TV. I actually, um, you may not know this, but like airports hire weather people, um, UPS and FedEx hire weather people, so that when weather's happening, they can divert all of those packages around the storm and stuff like that. So I can just sit in a cube by myself and and play with weather all the time. That's what I want to do next. Thank you. With the new school year approaching, what can parents and students students expect school to look like in the fall? So first of all, um, one big change is that we have introduced a new set of dress code expectations. So you'll be able to wear that outfit to school. You won't have to wear your uniform anymore because it meets all of the expectations that we have. And so uh, that means that you know, you'll have more flexibility about what you can wear, you can be more comfortable, you can be more relaxed, and your teachers won't have to be picking on you because you're not in dress code, right? So I think everybody's gonna be excited, and part of summer school showed us, summer learning showed us, is given the opportunity to dress appropriately, you all do. Everyone in your class is dressed fine, right? And your teacher hasn't had to pick at you and say, you're not allowed to wear that, you can't, you, so, so that's a big change that I'm super excited about for you. Um, also, some big changes, you will have a full-time health professional, a nurse, in every school. We've not had that before. So if you're not feeling well, there will be somebody to take care of you, uh, which I'm really excited about. Um, in our um, pre-K-8 schools, we're adding more art classes, music classes, phys ed classes. You'll be able to come to school either early or stay late so that you can maybe learn to play an instrument or maybe join a fitness club or things that, that you're interested in. Uh, we're going to have activity buses so that you can get on a bus to get to school early or get home later so that you can experience that stuff. Um, we're also um, going to start converting all of the old libraries into cyber cafes, essentially, um, community college and career hubs where all of the activities at school are available to you and they'll be open before or after school. They'll be open during the school day, during lunchtime. Um, so lots of new things coming. Uh, that we're phasing in this year and then into the next year as well. And again, all of it is trying to show you and your mom and dad and your teachers that, yeah, we were already improving as a school district before we went into the pandemic, but we're stronger coming out of it. I want you to look at your school and say, I get everything that I know the people in the suburbs get. And so I'm really working hard to find ways to do that. Thank you. Where can parents and students go for more information on CMSD? That's a great journalism question. So uh, the single best place is clevelandmetroschools.org, our website. Um, and when you go on our website, you can click on a button and that button will take you right to the back to school page and has all of this information and, and more. Um, also, people can call the district. Uh, our number is 838-0000, super easy to remember, 838 and then we'll uh, connect people through. I'll, obviously, our social media and download our app, and you can have us anywhere, anytime on your smartphones, too. Thank you. Thank you again for being here today and providing us with an inside look into what it takes to run our school district. Thank you. I am a Leo and can here's your business news. The Cleveland Chain Reaction Project announced 24 business that will participate in a six-week business boot camp. The project goal is to create jobs and money in Cleveland's neighborhoods while providing education and information for business owners to benefit our city. Those business will make pitches at the Business Pitch Showcase. On September 29th through 30th, there will be six winners that first prize win will receive $40,000. Second prize winners will receive $20,000.
each. Three third place winners who will receive $10,000 each. Good luck to all the business. Now I'll move on to health news. In health and wellness news, the U.S. could see 200,000 COVID-19 cases a day within the next six weeks. Cases have jumped as the Delta variant increased and the population hits a wall on vaccination. Every state saw more COVID-19 cases report in the past week than the week previous. CDC recommend vaccin vaccinated people in areas, certain areas of the country start wearing masks in areas with high COVID-19 cases. Nearly two-thirds of U.S. counties have a high amount of COVID-19 cases. As COVID-19 cases is increased, vaccine hesitation is still high in some states. The hesitation that remains in parts of the country is alarming is COVID-19. Cases spike in a majority of states. Widespread acceptance of COVID-19 vaccine necessary to end the world pandemic. I am Significant Johnson with your health news. Now let's go on to weather. Here's your Cleveland weather forecast for 30 July 29th. Today we will see more rain with thunderstorms and mostly cloudy skies in the morning. Storms may contain strong winds. Chance of rain 50% high of 78 and a low of 65 UV index of 7 so don't forget that sunscreen. Humidity at 73% it's going to be sticky out there. Let's take a look at our radar. Y'all see that rain moving in? Tomorrow, sunshine, clouds, mixed, high 73, low 57, high UV index 9. If you're outside, put that sunscreen on. Humidity at 66%, still going to feel sticky out there. Looking ahead, we finally have a stretch of no rain, mild temperatures, and sunny skies round out our six days forecast. I'm Danny Jernigan. Let's see what's going on in the sports news. I'm Keisha Janae Jones with your sports news. In sports news, Cleveland Cavaliers are hosting a free NBA draft watch party at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse today, July 29th at 7 p.m. If you're looking to watch the event long with some fellow Cavs fans, the team has you covered. Tickets for this event will feature a variety of activities. Cleveland Cavaliers landed the number three pick in the 2021 NBA draft in last month's draft lottery. The Cavs are hoping to draft Evan Mobley if he is still in the board at pick three. The Cleveland Browns kick off their first 2021 season Wednesday with their first training camp practice at the team's Berea facility. Friday will be the first practice open for fans to attend. Yesterday, Baker Mayfield started off his camp very strong. Linebaker Malcolm Smith made some nice catches and Donovan Peoples-Jones pulled in a great long pass from Mayfield. The Cleveland Indians beat the St. Louis Cardinals last night with a score of 7-2. They are currently in second place in the AL Central with a record of 50 wins and 49 losses. On Friday, the club announced that at the end of 2021 season, they will be changing the name to the Guardians. While some applaud this name change, many Cleveland locals are upset with the change. The club has been known since the Indians since 1915. In Olympic news, gymnastics superstar and defending champion Simone Biles removed herself from Thursday's all-around competition to focus on her mental well-being. She will continue to, evaluate, to be evaluated daily to determine whether or not to participate in next week's individual finals. USA Gymnastics said in the statement earlier on Wednesday that supported her decision and applauds her bravery. Her courage shows yet again why she is a role model for so many. That wraps up your sports news. Now let's see what's happening in entertainment. Welcome, King James. Hi, I'm Tavion Simmons. Let's look at the most talked about movie of the summer, Space Jam 2, A New Legacy. Our whole news cast went to see the movie, and we all agree it's a great movie. The story has believable parts at its core. 
The jokes were funny, and there are so many t little related things to the original movie to Looney Tunes to basketball. LeBron shines on screen with about as much star quality as any athlete turned actor. Well-known characters and silly words allow for a family fun adventure that is sure to have the kids excited. The message of this movie are that family is everything. There is power in chasing your dreams. Sometimes we need loony things to make us feel better. I give this movie five out of five stars, a must-see summer movie for the whole family. In other news, Instagram tested a TikTok like vertical feed presentation. TikTok has been the most downloading app for the past 18 months. If Instagram could build a similar process to TikTok, it could be better aligned with each user in music news. Justin Bieber made history on Tuesday as the youngest solo artist to ever hit 100 on Billboard at 27 years old. That's your entertainment news. Those were your top news stories for this hour. News with no bias, delivering nothing but the truth. Thank you for choosing to start your day here with us at HRWS News, do you have a great day?